Welcome to Chapters of Cancers, my lovely Cancers. I'm hoping all is well with each and every one of you. I'm thanking you all for your likes, your shares, your comments, and your subscribes. I truly and highly appreciate it. Right, Cancerians, let's see what messages Spirit has for you. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know for the month of August. Let's see. Messages for Cancerians, please, Spirit. So I do feel like some of you could be having some form of health problems here for the month of August. This could be positive or negative here. Some of you could be taking um, vitamins, okay? Um, making sure that your health is intact. But if not, some of you could be experiencing some form of health problems or there could be some form of toxicity around you here, Cancerians. So let's see. Messages for Cancerians, please, Spirit. So someone here is watching you. Someone here is, I'm also getting somebody who's paranoid okay tell me more please messages for cancerians please what do cancerians need to know please spirit yeah you know they stalk you a lot so this is like your counterpart a masculine energy an aries or taurus or even potentially a father figure okay i feel like somebody here who you are dealing with in the past who is very toxic knows that a divine counterpart is about to come in for you but again, somebody stalking you, this could even be somebody stalking you at your job, in your community and so forth. It's never too late to achieve your goals. So that's the energy that I'm getting. Somebody from your past is watching you level up, okay, in regards to your career or in regards to some form of relationship here, okay. So let's see what spirit wants you to know. Let's see. Tell me more, please. Messages for Cancerians, please, Spirit. What do Cancerians need to know? So we have the Seven of Wands. So yeah, you're definitely blocking anybody who is toxic in your life. You're blocking out toxic energy, toxic people. We have the Knight of Pentacles, but I feel like this person is definitely persistent, okay? I, I am getting somebody who is a drug addict or somebody who is into drugs here okay somebody who is very toxic because the knight of pentacles is somebody or this could even be a drug dealer okay i'm being totally honest because i'm getting pills like pills and potions we're overdosing sagittarius okay this sagittarius came out in your last reading okay but again this could be a taurus okay taurus virgo capricorn who you were dealing with in the past who is very toxic okay or even a scorpio because Nicki Minaj did that song with Drake, I believe. Or is that a song by herself? No, I'm getting um, Drake and Rihanna mixed up, okay? So again, it could be a Scorpio. The Four of Swords. Nah, bruh. Uh -uh. The Four of Swords. This person wants to come towards you. But again, you're trying to heal. You're trying to get over something here, okay? So I'm getting it took you a very long time to come out of this energy. Some of you most definitely could have been sick, okay? The Four of Pentacles. But you're protected here. The Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands here, okay? Um, you need to be careful, okay? Because again, somebody could have been trying to poison you. This always comes out for you, Cancers, and I don't know what the fuck is going on with y'all. But whoever this fire sign is that, are, that who is around you, you need to stay far from them because they have ill intentions, okay? I'm also getting a fire sign who doesn't have any children. That's the energy that I'm getting because the four of pentacles is giving me a pregnancy. This could be somebody around you who ain't got no children, who's jealous of the fact that you have children and they don't. You could even be pregnant right now and somebody's trying to cause you to have some form of miscarriage. Stay away from these people, man. You've got weird people around you, but either way here, Cancerians, it's like you're being, you're being forced to heal or some of you are healing around this time. Okay, the strength card, if you're sick, you're going to overcome this sickness, this illness, this affirmity, whatever it is you will overcome it okay tell me more please who's spying on cancerians the knight of swords somebody who wants to come in and communicate this person is watching your every move okay could potentially be an air sign gemini libra aquarius yeah we have the king of swords so it could be an air sign somebody who is constantly in their head in regards to you okay this person is thinking how they're going to come in or this person is thinking about what they're going to say the six of cups this person is constantly thinking about what you and them had in the past but again i feel like this person wants to come in with some form of offer we have the high priestess at the bottom of the deck follow your intuition because i do feel like this is somebody who has a lot of secrets somebody who is being very deceptive who is this emperor please in regards to cancerians the eight of cups the magician somebody who you walked away from 
okay aries virgo gemini aquarius okay you walked away from this person because you know that this person is being manipulative i'm also getting the energy of this person entering your life acting as if they've leveled up they've matured they've changed but they haven't the six of swords you're being called to leave this person behind one more on the emperor please for cancerians we have the three of cups so this is somebody who is doing love spells on you this person is trying to manifest you back in in their life they see you happy doing good without them and it's making them mad i split the deck we have the ace of swords the truth i heard baby baby so you could be dealing with a gemini okay but this person is mad okay you're not focused on them you're focusing on yourself okay some of you could have potentially um um what's the word here um caught some form of drug addiction also if this is not a health problem you could have also had some form of drug addiction whilst you were dealing with this person i'm also getting the energy of trauma bonding but again you're healing you're coming out of that energy you're very much protected with the seven of wands again this person is still trying to figure out how they're going to come towards you confirmation but again with the four of swords i'm getting that you're keeping low okay or again you're healing you're resting you're hibernating okay you're trying to gain back your strength but again this person is watching your every move i also feel like this person is a lot closer than you think you may feel like this person um is not watching you but they are they're watching your every move they could be watching you in your community if they drive confirmation or again with the king of swords they're keeping a close eye on you and watching you in places that you would never imagine okay um i'm also getting if you and this person have children they could also be watching or spying on you via the school that your child or your children go to so again be aware of that this person sees you in a very happy state they're trying to manifest you back with the magician and through a cops they're doing love spells they want you to come back to them okay so just be aware of that also let's see what our spirit wants you to know let's see messages for cancerians please tell me more please spirit messages for cancerians please so we have lifeguard again you are protected messages for cancerians please we have no fuck you so this is somebody who you don't want to talk to or this is somebody who fucked off and rejected you and now they want to come back tell me more please messages for cancerians messages for cancerians please so we have entities can't make this up this person is doing spell work on you they're doing love spells okay on you so just be aware of that also this is someone who's doing anything to get you back we have locks so again this person is blocked okay you could have dreadlocks this person could have dreadlocks okay if you're dealing with a leo they could have dreadlocks but this is locks and in this card this feminine energy has dreadlocks here okay so someone clearly has dreadlocks here this could be you or the person trying to manifest you back we have slipping i'm slipping i'm falling i can't get up so somebody here is going to get caught slipping or somebody's going to get caught out spying on you watching you here but i also feel like this person's life is going to shits without you and then we have gossip so this person here is also trying to send this person is also trying to communicate with you telepathically okay they're doing this via spell work you could be dreaming this person a lot so again be aware of that also okay so let's see what our spirit wants you to know let's see tell me more about this locks energy for cancerians please so yeah this person here could be seeing again that you're somebody who is very much financially stable this person here again could potentially be a drug dealer okay that's the energy that i'm picking up or this person was trying to block your finances or spirit could be saying when you were dealing with this person you had toxic traits habits you were trauma bonding with the, this person and not only that your finance your finances were blocked tell me more please about locks way too many tell me more please about locks yeah look we have known means no but again look credit card so somebody here could be a fraud star or again somebody could have been doing some form of credit fraud here um with your bank cards here so again you just need to be careful of this person okay tell me more please about slipping yeah breaking news so again i feel like this person here is going through some form of shit here their life is falling apart without you okay <laughs> look at that it's like 
you know this person is watching you this is very weird like you know this person is watching you you can feel this person's energy okay this person is watching you but you also intuitively know that this person is going to be coming back to you or this person will be reaching out to you okay tell me more please about gossip okay yeah this person is definitely coming towards you i also feel like a lot of people could be talking about you or you could have a lot of people in your energy who are attracted to you again this person can pick this up they can feel this intuitively okay it flipped on he's lying to you so whoever you're dealing with they're definitely being deceptive here okay but not only that this person is leaving somebody behind okay i feel like they're walking away from somebody to come towards you here and whoever they're leaving behind to come towards you here is definitely mad about that okay we have three marks selfish and then we have evil eye so you could have been dealing with a pisces a capricorn a libra um an aries or potentially a um who have i missed now cancer like yourself so cancer capricorn libra aries like yourself or potentially a pisces but whoever this person is they betrayed you multiple times and again they're spying on you they're sending you the evil like again lottery because you're financially stable or you're doing better without them okay you're coming into a lot of money and this person is definitely mad about that okay so closing out let's see what else spirit wants you to know let's see messages for cancerians please spirit so we have a father so this could be multiple energies here this could be god in the midst some of you could have been dealing with an aries or a taurus or again this person can sense that you're going to level up and be with somebody who you're destined to be with this could also break down to you gaining back your power your stability doing successful or being successful in regards to your career or some form of business that you're launching and then we have not guilty so whoever this person is they're coming back in your life appearing that they're innocent appearing like they have haven't betrayed you appearing as if nothing hasn't happened but again you do need to follow your intuition because at the bottom of the deck here we have sex addicts so this is somebody who was very promiscuous somebody again who had addictions who you could have been trauma bonding with or somebody who had sexual addictions who was trauma bonding with people from their past here okay so with that being said i wish you guys all the best don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll touch base with you guys whenever i feel like take care guys